Why on earth? Why is Colonel Sanders wearing Japanese samurai clothes? This is a blue-eyed samurai. That is the coolest KFC I've ever seen. Okay, that gets a thumbs up from me. Welcome to Japan. These are my top five culture shocks. My name is Anming. I'm from America, but I first came to Japan in 2015 and spent several years living here. Greetings from Tokyo. Okay, so if I were to really go through everything that shocked me, this would be a really long list, so I had to narrow it down. And on top of that, I've already spent many years living in China, so a lot of my experience were cushioned by the fact that I already lived in a close-by Asian country. Yet still, I find Japan to be quite unique amongst its neighbors and in a good way. Some of these shocks were positive shocks, some of them not so positive, but this country never ceases to surprise me. So here are the five things that I thought were rather shocking about living in Japan as a Western person. I don't like to be the kind of person that sits here and complains about a country, especially a country that I love very, very much, but I do find Japan to be very unique, sometimes a little strange, exciting, all of the above. So we'll start today with food. This is the famous guobao from the northeast of China. Lemony chicken. Lemon flavored chicken. Mm. Smells good. As I said, I've spent many years living in China before I made the trip over to Japan and made the move over here. And before I had come to Asia, I was such a picky eater. There was a long, long list of things that I would not touch. And then coming over here, I saw those things and I refused. I resisted for the longest time, but somehow they got me. And when they got me, the first time, I may not have liked it, but I slowly developed a taste for some of these, as I saw them, weird food items and they grew on me and I stopped resisting and I started to embrace it a little bit. What should you do if you're having a bad day? Eat ice cream. This is matcha flavored ice cream. And the first time I heard about this, I thought that sounds disgusting. Why would you want green tea flavored ice cream? And then I tried it and I was addicted from that point on. This stuff is great. Am I gonna eat it with a spoon? Nah, just dig in. Mmm. <laughs> I started eating those Kit Kats and from then on it was game over. Massage this <laughs> neck. <笑>気持ち良さそうです。じゃあ、キュウリお願いします。はい。わかりました。どれがいいね。どれでもいいです。いいやつ。いいやつか。全部同じじゃないですか。これは1枚いいと思います。じゃあ、これにしよう。スー
shocked. I was really quite enthralled by the fact that there were so many people around me and yeah, some weird people too, but to be honest, in the many years I've lived in Japan, I've never had any bad experiences on trains, but perhaps I'm just lucky in that. It is seriously butt to butt, like back to back, super crowded, and that's probably the most awkward feeling of all is on that commuter train in the morning. If you have to take it, which I did going to Japanese school, literally being butt to butt with other people, most awkward thing ever. But I guess just like anything else, you get used to it. Yeah. I'm still not used to that. I still don't like that, <laughs> to be honest. Yet another thing on the long list of Japanese things I resisted in the beginning and then caved into eventually is Japanese fashion. And I had resisted that very strongly in the beginning because I thought it was overly feminized and just not my style. And then slowly, over time, I just let it creep in more and more into my wardrobe until today. I may have bought some things here, maybe, but I can't confirm or deny if I bought things here or not. No joke, this is a store for dogs clothes. So with the pet boom in Japan, everybody's getting stuff for their animals. Everybody's getting like little gifts and little clothes and diapers and it's basically a big baby. Basically treated like babies. <laughs> oh, but you know, when it comes to pets, you'll be willing to spend anything. They even have luxury brands for pets like... I'm here in Kamakura Station right now. And we were supposed to meet here and this is much closer to him than me and he just canceled because it's raining it's not raining I I can't believe it's not raining here I said it's not raining here it didn't rain all day what are you talking about and then no reply and I'm here it took half a day freaking it's gonna be a five hour round trip ride for this five hours round trip two and a half hours here two and a half hours back for my friend friend sometimes there's a lot of passive aggressive stuff here so instead of breaking the harmony which by the way harmony is broken already instead of getting into an argument or admitting that he did something wrong he just wants to ghost me and actually makes it a lot worse just go out by myself then and not all Japanese people are like that but there are some that they just don't want to break the harmony when they did something wrong even it's not a good trait whoever has that trait my boyfriend's not like that he's Japanese but there are people that do that and even in China too when something goes wrong and then and friendships will end suddenly because of that which I also think is unfortunate and I guess uh, I got stood up for nothing absolutely nothing because it looks really nice outside it looks really nice today here we are at Nippon Renta car in Guam this is our car we're gonna drive here. I haven't driven in six months, but it's better than him. He hasn't driven in 10 years. So I'm gonna take this one. Sorry. This is my first time driving in Asia. But hey, it shouldn't be too different than driving at home. All right. Welcome to Guam. Welcome to our car. Let's do our best. <laughs> Sorry, you can't drive. You have no license. <laughs>
Here we go! That is what the Japanese call a mama chabi. Mama chabi is a bicycle, I guess for mothers, but I've seen fathers use it too, where they got a car seat in the back for the kids. It's kind of like the equivalent of a car seat for a car. But like I told you, like I said, only 6% of people have cars here, so that's uh, how people get around. Everyone's own individual experiences in Japan are going to vary greatly depending on who they are, where they are, and what kind of people they interacted with. But at the end of the day, the best thing you can come here with is an open mind and realize that it's not a perfect place and you're going to be met with a lot of challenges and things that surprise you. So if you have the dream to come to Japan, I highly recommend that you do that. But at the end of the day, nobody invited me to come here. I just found a way to come myself.